Should I invest in the stock market or should I invest in real estate? This is a popular question that's taking place right now with the way that the interest rates have gone up substantially, decreasing the value of many properties, and why the stock market has not done very well over the last 12 months. I'm Josh Tavares, investor and realtor with the XP Realty Brokerage. It'd be so great if you can help us out and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to get updates on our newly uploaded content. And without further ado, guys, let's begin. As we know, the stock market is not performing very well right now with the energy crisis in Europe, the war in Russia, as well as hyperinflation taking place as we speak. Historically, when things are tough economically, guess what? Gold was a great hedge against inflation and what was taking place in the market. And guess what? Section 8 real estate rental properties are going to be your goal that was taking place in today's market. What we love about real estate investing through Section 8 rental properties, it's guaranteed income. You're not just relying on the tenant to pay you every month. You have the housing agency paying you. And in the event that something is taking place in the tenant's lives, that's making it difficult for them to make the payments. Guess what? the housing agency is going to be again to take on more of the payment and sometimes the housing agency will make all the payment so you have even less responsibility from the tenants end and you have money coming to your bank account every single month from the housing agency and of course the real estate itself you have the ability for your assets to appreciate build equity and the ability to refinance and multiply your portfolio and like with any real estate investing opportunity you have the ability to increase your wealth through appreciation equity and the ability to refinance your properties to multiply. This has helped us multiply our portfolio much higher than we would have had we gone any other route and has really helped us considering the price points that we've talked about on numerous occasions in the US and especially in Detroit versus in Southern Ontario, where we're seeing a lot of rental properties in other hot markets going for five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars $700,000, making it very, very difficult to cash flow, especially with rents taking place. Now, there are a lot of real estate investors that are now big into the Airbnb space luxury space and that's fantastic it can be very lucrative provide you a lot of income however i will say that with these type of methods they tend to have a high amount of risk and i mentioned them before in other videos with airbnb is fantastic it gives you a high amount of income however there are a lot of different cities and neighborhoods that are actually not allowing airbnb type of short-term rentals taking place because of course a lot of city officials are saying that it's impacting the housing market making it more expensive for a lot of tenants and this so these rules are going to make it very hard for any investor to practice short-term rentals and generate a higher income so you want to have some Something a little more stable that's a little bit more flexible versus something that's very rigid in a lot of parts in north america for some investors luxury real estate is fantastic it allows investors who have high amount of income to have a good appreciation great cash flow however you have to find the right clientele who's looking to rent from you and of course maintenance can be a lot higher vacancies will be a lot higher a lot more carrying costs so it comes with a lot of risk financially into that regard and it's not going to be as easy to find that clientele in terms of finding someone who's an athlete an actor um you know someone in that space who has a high volume of income who can go about spending you know, $30,000, $40,000 a month or something very high end. And this is why in our new real estate investing course that we're currently working on, which will be launched very soon, we've actually gone about not only investing into the US as, as a Canadian or anyone else really, but also how to go about investing as a beginner, even in your own homeland, that you can go about starting off and the right fundamentals to help you grow a substantial and significant real estate rental portfolio. And it's essentially using the methods that we've used personally to help us grow and, and multiply our real estate portfolio substantially over the last couple of years and really live a much better lifestyle than living the same grind that we were in the past. And as it speaks right now in the Detroit market that we are investing in, there is a high amount of demand. There's a lot of people that want to get into the program in terms of from the tenant perspective who have been vetted by the housing agency as well as to our property management. And we also have a lot of properties that are coming up. We're purchasing them. We're getting them on contract. We're partnering with other people and we're having this work in our favor where there's a lot of demand for housing there's a lot of people need to get into housing and the supply is just shortening so like we've said before in our videos if you're looking to partner and you're looking to invest into real estate and you have cash ready to go we're not looking for investors who need 30 40 000. we're looking for investors who have a hundred thousand plus who are ready to purchase and partner with us 50 50 we take on the management and the funds come from the other end so it's something that we want to you know disclose to you up front before proceeding forward with booking the meeting now stock market is great not every real estate investor is going to have the funds necessarily up front to go about investing if you don't have a lot of funds you can invest into different REITs which is also real estate investing in its own way and they tend to have monthly dividends which tends to be about five to six percent of really what the price of the stock 
of course is. Now that might not sound like a lot of money, but a lot of other top S&P 500 stocks, even Dow Jones, don't even give you dividends every quarter or maybe a couple times a year versus these type of reads that are actually going to give you, you know, cash flow every single month. It's not going to be the highest, but hey, it multiplies over time. And like we've said before, with real estate investing, you don't need to have a large lump sum of cash on you. You can start with actually no money at all. You can use other people's money. You can work with family members and friends. You can actually go about looking for joint venture partners. There are different ways you can go about work. There's seller finance. And there's so many different ways that if you're willing to do the work, educate yourself and have the right mindset and right approach, you can become financially free in a short time frame. You just have to be willing to do the work. In regards to our cash flow, we're not just living off the cash flow. At the same time, we're also using that cash flow that we can invest into other assets because you know, having 500 from one property or having $8,000 between total cash flow is not going to be enough for you to go buy a property outright up front. However, it's a good way with those funds. You can invest into different types of REITs, maybe bonds, stocks that are a bit more on the less risk side that have a better potential of, you know, not losing funds at the end of the day where you continue to have your money work for you. Now, of course, the stock market can, can continue to dip essentially, but being able to put your money to different buckets and diversify is not necessarily a bad idea. And think of it this way. If you've got one rental property that's cash flow over $850, if you're able to get 10 rental properties that's over $8,000, that is more than a $150,000 net income type of job that you would get anywhere else. You're essentially probably going to receive about a little over 5,000 net. And with that, you're able to pay off all your bills and then stuff. So you can essentially retire from your nine to five. Not to say that it's easy, but it gives you an excellent opportunity to retire much sooner than many individuals who retire in their 60s and sometimes into their 70s. And that's why in a real estate investing course we have coming up, we show you exactly how you can go about refinancing, finding properties, how to go about finding people who are looking to sell their properties, get them much lower on the dollar in value than essentially what the market would be after repair value, how to get that and how to rent it and go off in terms of multiplying and sustaining your wealth for the long term. And what we love about the Section 8 program is the fact that it provides individuals who are in need of housing, it provides them an opportunity to get housing where in some other instances, they may not be able to get any housing at all based on their circumstance, have housing be provided to them have the government provide the funds over and pay on their behalf and investors get paid every single month instead of having to go to landlord tenant board and fight with these tenants ongoing. Now, there can be instances where things do take place. However, because of how well we have our property management structure, how strong we are in that category, these issues do not occur. And when they do, the tenants automatically pay within a very short time frame. And we have documentation for property management being fulfilled right away. So right away, we're getting those funds every single month of our paycheck, not only from the tenants perspective, but also from the housing agency as well. And like we've said before, with the stock market, you can't really do much else with it. You can just buy and hold or you can sell. You don't have the ability to increase the appreciation and enhance the asset. You're essentially just going for a roller coaster ride and getting on and off whenever you decide to do so. As we all know, the real estate market has been a lot more reliable compared to the stock market, which has been very unreliable, where they both have done really, really well around the same time. However, even with interest rates rising, investors still being very strategic in terms of their exit strategies and keeping the debt servicing low as much as they can having reserve funds, they still are in a better position than individuals who, let's say, invested $30,000, $40,000 into a stock and then seen it drop substantially, where now they've only got maybe $10,000, $15,000 really hurting their bottom line, essentially. And just like all of our rental properties, whether it's Section 8 or non Section 8, it's providing us the opportunity to build wealth, like we've said on multiple times, through cash flow, appreciation, force appreciation, tax advantages, leverage. There's just so many ways you can't go wrong in terms of having the opportunity to take place. Now, of course, there are wrong methods and strategies and taking the wrong steps, but real estate investing in the long haul is gonna be a very successful endeavor for you, especially if you're doing it the correct way, which you're going to mention in a real estate investing course when it comes out in the very short term. When the economy is not doing well, guess what? Luxury real estate gets hit really hard. People are not going to want to pay fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars per month on rent. And also Airbnb gets hit really hard too because less people are going to travel, which means less people are going to stay at your Airbnb rent. However, no matter how difficult things get, people will always need housing and need some sort of shelter. And with this program, it provides an excellent opportunity for individuals who 
they have a difficult time they go into your property they'll take care of your property and you get paid every month not only from them but majority from the housing agency so you're just getting paid every single month and with the way we have things structured the property management team everything is done we have all the documents online we have management taking place of everything whether it's maintenance tenanting everything is done for you you don't have to drive across the border or even drive into the state or city and deal with any concerns the crazy thing is as things continue to go down in the canadian market guess what detroit properties that we're investing into are continuing to increase in price every single year as well as their rents so in the beginning of the 2008 crash, we were seeing properties going for 5,000, 6,000, like very, very, very cheap in a lot of these markets. Now they're going over 100,000 and of course, much more in other markets that are doing really, really well. So this is the opportunity. Take advantage of the opportunity now if you can. So because I'm telling you, it's gonna continue to go up and up and up and up where you're gonna see properties of what you would have saw in Hamilton, Ontario, in Welland, Ontario, and St. Catharines. About 10 years ago, you would have seen very very soon in the very short term where if you would have taken advantage of now you'd have the opportunity to have multiple rental properties in the game that you'd be in a much better predicament we've had this conversation with investors in the past who invest in the stock market where essentially you're going onto a roller coaster you're getting off at a certain point you're getting off at another point you have no control further from there with real estate investing you can go about purchasing a distressed property increase the value and sell it make it come that way However, there's going to be some tariffs and fees involved, or you can rent it to great tenants and be able to build your wealth through appreciation, cash flow, equity, mortgage pay down, and everything else involved with it, and be able to multiply through your equity and so on and so forth. Ways you can go about doing so with the stock market. I hope that video is super helpful and insightful and gives you everything you need to know about stock market investing versus real estate investing with Section 8 rental properties. I'm Josh Tavares, investor and realtor at the XB Realty Brokerage. So amazing. Again, if you can help us out and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and even hit the notification bell to get updates on our newly uploaded content. If you guys have any questions regarding Section 8 or anything real estate investing or anything regarding our course coming up, please send it in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.